minus that much. So if I come from here up to here, 47 inches. So that's how we're doing our electrical boxes. That's that's a three-way light switch for downstairs here. Um, sorry, just ate. I have uh, acid reflux. I'm bloating a little bit here. I'm going to show you here what he did. Thanks, babe. Okay, so this is the one light switch I have here. Let me turn the light around here a bit so maybe you can see that a bit. Hopefully that's not too harsh. I'll turn that down a little wee bit here. There we go. Perhaps that's okay now. So I have my wires running on up through there and then I'm hoping that's okay like that. That is halfway up into the floor joist roughly. That's halfway up. Now I left enough loop here and I have lots of cable here. I'm going to pull a lot of cable back here. So now for my three-way switch, it runs from my light bulb up here. It runs across to here and down into this three-way light switch. It runs back up and then there's a 312 that runs all the way along here, but there's a 214 that runs here across, but I think this is a 314 maybe that runs all the way across. It's going to run up to a light switch upstairs that operates these ones and then it's going to come down. It's going to run down here to a few outlets and a smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector down here and then it'll run on over to the panel. So basically from the panel, which is at that snowmobile leaning up over there, that's where I'm hoping we can put it. Panel, the wire is going to run up. It's going to run across a few outlets. Um, smoke detector, run across. Up power light switch that'll run these lights down here. Come down the light switch across here. It'll run down through this wire, through this light switch, three way light switch again, a back up across over to here. Then it'll feed that light down over there, feed that light, and feed this light here where the cord's hanging right now. So that's how I'm hoping. But for you electricians out there, if you're electricians that, that know, Am I legal to do it that way? The conduit like that? Just I guess because I just didn't want bare wire staple on there. I didn't know if that was was uh, in the in the rule book. I couldn't find that anywhere in a rule book. So in the basement I just put it in this plastic conduit and it runs up and it's only going up halfway in to the uh, to the ceiling joist there, the floor joist of the upstairs. So it sticks up halfway. So I'm hoping that's code like that. I have it stapled there and I put a good loop in here like, like you folks suggested last time. There's a good loop, a good space. I didn't make it so sharp here. And the wire still slides easy. Those staples aren't tight enough to pinch it. I can still slide easy. It'll move if it has to. Same as here. Same as the rest. And I did, I did when I did that, I'm going to do the rest too. I ran the wire down and then I pigtailed two wires. Uh, the white and the black, I pigtailed them. The two, the one running from that light to here, I pigtailed them together with a wire that runs down into this light. I'll do the same with the rest. I will run the wires down. I will pigtail a little wire that runs down to the lights. And then I was reading and that's, that's a great idea. And that's probably even code here. I don't know. It doesn't say anywhere in the book I can find. So you have to run your wires down. And I twisted it, um... I twisted them eight wraps before I put the Mars connector on there, the Moret, whatever you want to call it, the wire nut connector. So I twisted the wires eight times uh, together. So, so the wire comes down running from, from this light over, it comes down. Then the wire from that light comes over and comes down. And I twisted it with a little short wire that's about six inches long that runs down and hooks to that light. So that's how I did that. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's code. It's been a while now. I don't think I did it at Heather's mom and dad's when I did it, but just just something never happened. Like, you know, I was reading it, it's pretty good too, because if that light should go out, if something happens, then I lose all the power over to there, to that light and vice versa, where when I twist them together like that, one light can go out and it'll still continue and it won't affect it if I get a short in that in that light if that socket burns out or a wire I'll still have lights continuing on through the main question for you electricians there 
is that code. Now there is no clamps inside here. Now when I was talking to the guys when I bought these, they said they didn't think I needed a clamp in here. But if I do, it's just a matter of undoing these, sliding them up, putting a clamp inside because I didn't glue these yet. And it's a matter of lifting this up, putting a clamp inside, sliding this inside the clamp, and then tightening the clamp. But there is no clamp inside these boxes. And I was thinking since, since they're inside pipes, I hope they don't have to be stapled or clamped. I'm hoping that, but we'll see. Uh, maybe you folks can tell me how that works with these plastic boxes here. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I got the wires running up. And like I say, it runs up halfway. I hope you can see that halfway up inside. Now I did bend that one. Um, I don't know if I had to, I left that one straight. If I have to bend them or get an elbow, I will, but I'm hoping they're good just straight like that because nothing can cast them. And if I were to ever close in that ceiling, which I never will, but if I ever do, those will be tucked up. You'll never cast those with nails up in there. So that's why I did that. And I can see we're starting to get some we're supposed to get 15 to 20 centimeters of snow tomorrow and I can see it's already starting out there. I can see there's a bunch on that snowmobile. I don't know how well that shows up, but you can see that out there. It's starting to snow pretty good. It's supposed to start tonight and continue all day tomorrow. It's supposed to be like blizzard-like conditions, but we're pretty warm and comfy in here, so it doesn't really affect us too, too much. Okay, so the bottom of my box is 47 inches. That's what the light switches will be. Not sure if that's, yeah, I don't know if there's any code, but I think 47 inches would be fine from the bottom of the box. So 47 and a half inch and then another four inches. So that'd be 47, 47, 51 and a half inches should be close to that. So that's what I'm gonna do, there's 51 and a half inches. Yes, I know I probably should be cutting this with something other than this, but this is what I'm using because this is what I got. Okay. That's cut like that. Now what I have to do, so I need these. I need my normal bit. Um, I need some clamps. I'll meet you upstairs. So I want to stick this in here. Yeah. No. I know what I'm going to do here. I didn't have the proper size drill bit, so that does look a little rough, but I'm going to get the proper size drill bit tomorrow from the old house. Because I know I do have one for this. At least I'm hung down there. Yep, yep. Um, we brought up that box and set it here, correct? Yeah, it's right there. But do I have... Okay, I'm short a few things. I'll be right back. Stay there yet. So 47 and a half inches. The glass is off. So 47 and a half inches for this. Bottom of the box will be right here. The bottom of the box is gonna go. Level. Oh. Level would have been nice. Oh no, I didn't bring a level up. Now if you're living in a nice fancy home, if you got a lot of money, you're not probably going to like this look. How about if you're like most of us, who don't want to have to tear their whole walls apart just to wire up receptacles and this here would work for you. It would work just fine. I don't want to tear my walls all apart just to run my wiring inside. Timber! And I know I'm supposed to. I'm going to turn the writing to the back. Just 
because we don't need writing. Now I'm going to use this as a guide here. That same distance up like that. And what are we at here? We are at, let's go down a bit, 47 and a half the same as the basement. Now this has to also be appealing to the eye. I say that is straight, right Heather? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Pretty straight looking? Yes, absolutely. Now we gotta let go of it, change bits. Oh. We gotta let go. Sorry. This here, can you see it okay or is it hard to see? Yeah, you can see it. I'm guessing that looks pretty darn straight, don't you Heather? I think so. So now this. Right there. That's at the right height too. That's a good height. I should change the batteries in this guy. We'll be right back, folks. So Heather found me some batteries here I can use. So I thank her for that. Oh, I'll show you what this is for, folks. This here also goes on a tripod as well. I don't use it on the tripod. I don't, I haven't used this in for a long time, but anyways. Automatically goes level. So can you see the lines are okay, Heather? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna set this right here, okay? I just turn it this way? Okay, it's telling me it needs something under the back because it will not turn on if it's too crooked. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? <coughs> I'm gonna put it on my tripod, I'll be right back. All right, so I stuck it on this neat little I think they're called a Gorilla Pod. I'm not sure, but uh, Big Daddy 1992 sent me this quite a while ago, and I use this lots. And I think it's going to work really cool to hold this up because I can adjust this just like this, however I want to. Watch this, folks. Are you ready? Ready? I'll turn this on. Give it a second. Now you see how that? So I just turn this here like this. And that will tell me. How straight that is so I shut this light off here actually I'll just turn this down so do you see this here watch this It'll tell me how straight that is Does that looks straight enough here we'll get rid of the other one so if I push this button it'll get rid of the vertical crosshair push this it only turns on the vertical crosshair looks pretty straight to me not too bad, eh? Yeah. Just by guessing. So we'll check the side of this box here, okay? We'll see how badly off it is. How's that? It's right on for, <laughs> and you eyed it. <laughs> Just eyeballed it, yeah. So, now if I turn this on, it'll turn the both crosshairs on. So if I were to lean this, so if I were to lift this up higher, you watch, I'll take it off the pod here. See, wait till it centers out here. So I move it over here. We'll wait till that stops bouncing. And I'll move it up. How's that? Mm -hmm. I'm bouncing it too much. But anyways, I think you get the gist of it, right? Yes. Pretty neat little setup. And you get these up here at a store called Canadian Tire. And they're really inexpensive. They're a neat little laser tool. They automatically level. If they're, out of too, uh, if they're out too much, they'll start to beep and buzz and beep. So you see that red line is running right up the side of this box perfectly. And in the center, in the side of this box here, I'll step over here. You can see it running up inside the box here. So both sides of the box. So I got that pretty darn close, I think, by eye, didn't I, Heather? Mm-hmm. So now if I shut, so if I just want the horizontal line, I press this button, gets rid of the vertical one, and then if I want 
just the vertical one. That gets rid of the horizontal one. Press it again. And I get all four. And this is called a Hawkeye Laser Level from Canadian Tire made by Mastercraft. And I like to use it for a lot of things. And you can see even when you put up our boards here. It's pretty darn true. And see if I lean this down you watch. It's going to beep watch as soon as it goes off kilter watch. See? Too much. Bring it back here. Because it's self level. See there? Watch this. It'll level inside here. So that's how I know that that box there is running true. Because that's not even an eighth of an inch thick, that box. So let's, uh, I'll put the other screw in there and make sure it goes. My laser in my head here. Yeah, you are lasering your head. Yeah. <laughs> you're, yeah. Looks like you're wearing um, one of those uh, those glow That's necklaces. <laughs> Here, other watch. You want to play that? Uh, what, what's that game there? Sniper. Yeah. It's crosshairs on my forehead. <laughs> Is uh, it? Not quite. Up or down? Uh, go to the right. Uh, my right. Uh, okay, here. More. More. Over. Okay, stop there. Go up a little bit. Uh, now you go to the... Go to the... Yeah, that... Uh, right up there. No. I don't know. See, <laughs> go over more. Boy, oh boy. Which way? To the... To my right. This way? I mean, sorry, my left. Oh, man. <laughs> How close we are getting that cross in the center of my forehead. There you go. Right there? Pretty close. Okay. So don't pull the trigger. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's how that is. I think it's a pretty neat little tool. <clears throat> I really like it. I use it a fair bit. So now, ah, can you turn those lights back up, please? Turn them all the way clockwise. Which one, yellow or Both white? Both of them, babe. Both of them. That's one. That's two. Thank you very much. So now this is going to go like this. I'm just going to clamp it right here. And again, like I say, if you're concerned about how fancy your house looks, obviously you're not going to do it like this in a $200,000 home, but in our little, what, $10,000 home, $15,000 home maybe at the most, I'm not going to complain. No big deal to me. I'm going to get down out of your way here. If you can see me, I hope so. There's a lot of one. shadows. I'm going to do one right here. I'm a shadow dancer, Heather. That's why. You know yeah, what? I'm I put can't this, see anything. I'm going to put this right down here. I'm going to put that right there so it kind of hides that, I hope. Hey. Doesn't do it perfectly, but... There's a bit of a bobo. Now I'll have to remove that again when I drill the hole down. So that'll go like that. And that won't move at all. And there's no wires exposed for anybody to get cut on. Now I better be careful because those wires are live. I forgot I have that turned on down there. <laughs> hmm. On knees. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So how far did it go from here? Okay, that's good. So I went, I went, uh, well, from that lip to there, I am three and three eighths. Not too bad from there, three and three eighths. So in between, if I go in, so if I go from the floor to here, we're at 44 inches. So let's go 22 inches. Did I leave that pen here, or did I you lose it? You put it, it? on the, it's on the, um, yeah. Found it, thank you. So 22 inches from the floor. So be lost. 22 here. Let's go in here where you're not gonna see that line. 22 inches in here where you're not gonna see the line. See, doing it this way, folks, it saves us from tearing our walls all apart. And that, to me, is not a plan. I don't want to tear our walls apart. 
We never did plan on having electricity in here, like from the grid, but... But, uh... You know, this way it'll be safe. Nobody's ever gonna get caught on wires. Nobody's ever gonna... You know, we put something... If we back something against the wall, it's not gonna hurt those wires that run inside there. And our electrical, our switch here, our three-wave switch will go like this. We'll just put a panel over it, and that's all you'll see. Now we'll run a wire running from here down over to some outlets and then up to the panel. So that's how. Now I have a lot of wire I can still pull up. See, there's, and then there's still lots more wire that runs across the, to the base right here. You see here. Oh yeah, far from tight yet. There's still lots more there. I don't need that much, so all I need is That gives me a good loop down under there on both ends, and that's still lots of wire sticking out. That's good right there, I think. About there. Okay. All right, so I got the other, I have the other conduit ran up through there. Again, it'll be hid with some kind of trim later, so. I'm gonna put this one here. This. I'm going to turn this in a little bit so it pulls that pipe over. Oh. Don't look so good, maybe. Good enough. So now I'll get some more clamps and I'll do that. I'll be right back. I'm going to put it a little below that one. Just because that other one's going to go a little higher. So that's how that's going to work out. Because I can't have them both on the... Have them both down there at the same place. So this one's gonna go a little higher here like this. Oh I'm sure I could have dressed this up and made it look a little better. But... And I will put something around here later on. Not sure what, but I will figure something out. Always do. Now this one here. It's going to go a little lower than this one. Wait right there. I'll be back. this in just a little wee bit. How does that look? Good. Well, that's pretty solid too, you know that? Mm-hmm. Looks like it has a bit of a weird run to it. I'm going to turn this on again here. Let's see how that one looks. Beep, beep. Yeah, so it's out at the bottom of it. You can see that. Turn that light off up there, babe, please. Yeah, you can see it's off a bit. You can see this one here. Runs pretty much exact. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this other light here, this other beam. There, okay. So I can see that one runs pretty much exact right there. Maybe off a little wee bit, but not much. This one here. If I line the bottom up, you can see the top's off a bit. In the center. 
yeah, it seems like it's, the whole thing's off a little bit. Like the bo the whole box could have moved over, but still stayed level. I'm not going to be too concerned with that. Will you notice that, Heather? I wouldn't care. No, I know you wouldn't care, but would you notice it though? Like no, I don't notice much. <laughs> it's not off that much. I mean, it's it's a three quarter inch pipe, so I mean you're out. I guess that's enough, but. Ah, what do you think, folks? I think it'll be okay. I think if anybody comes in here and they're measuring it or complaining about that, they're either jealous or they want to buy the house. Or they just don't like me and they wouldn't like anything I did anyway, so I'm not too concerned. It'll be Heather and I reaching for the light switch most of the time, nobody else. Okay, well, we're going to get this wired up. Boy, oh, I did shut off the lights in the basement too, so I didn't accidentally go. <laughs> Would not have been fun. Okay, so I ran my, uh, this is my power supply line that would run on this side here. And then this would run down to the other switch. This is a, a, a three, 312, I think, and this is a 214. So now running on down to the other light switch, uh, because there's a light switch in the basement, it's a three-way. I have the black and the red from the three wires down there running to the two brass ones. And then the... Then the red one from my supply line runs to the black one. Same as down there. And then my whites are tied together. And then I have a pigtail from the ground off here. Moretted together with all the rest here. So I think that'll be good. Now I'm just going to fold these wires up in here. Get that tied up in there neatly and nicely. Put this all back in the box. We're going to button this baby up and I left lots and lots of power. I left lots of, uh, lots of, uh, what am I trying to say here? Yeah, I left lots of wire in the box too. Hopefully not too much. I'm not a big fan of these boxes. They tend to, uh, they tend to spin that little nut inside the box really easy if you're not careful. So... My suggestion to you folks, if you're doing this, be very careful. I'm going to tighten this up and then we're going to go downstairs. We're going to put power to this and we're going to see if these lights work. They should work as soon as I put the power in the bottom. I'm pushing in on this to help it maybe. Off there. Maybe it's designed so you can't over tighten them. I'm not sure, but I'm not a big fan of the way that's happening, but that's okay. I'm gonna leave that off. Now let's go to the basement, folks, and let's do some quick wiring downstairs. How does that sound, Heather? I just need this, that, and this here. Okay, let's go downstairs. So, so this is where I I used to plug this in before to get power because I had no switch on before, but now I'm just going to put these Mars connectors on here until I get the other light white, until I get the other light wired up in here. We will not have, we won't need that one. So I'm just going to shove this in here like this. Shove this one in here like this. Okay, Heather, can you shut that light switch? Wait, just hold on a second here. Let's see here. Hmm. Okay, let me see here. I'm gonna shut this off here. I wanna try something here. Let me see here. Okay, so this is, I may have these upside down, you know that? But that's just a matter of switching it. Now, say if they're on here, I'll go up here, and this should shut them off up here if I wired everything correctly. In the dark? Yeah. So now this here, I can turn it on down here just by that. So that is successful, folks. We have lights in the basement. What do you think, Heather? Not too bad? It's good. So now if we go upstairs, I just watch this now. If I go up here, 
I can shut them off up here again if I want. That's off. But if I go around the other side, say if I come in from outside and I want these lights on, lights are on. So one thing I want to know folks, is do you think that's acceptable up there? One thing I want to know the way I did that. See how those are up here. Dad, do you think that's acceptable like that? Let me know. The wires are clamped off, but I'd like to know if that is acceptable. Anyways, yeah, let me know, folks. Anyways, you take care, and we'll talk to you later, folks. Bye-bye.